Liane, I have so much to learn from you today about taking care of myself and taking care of others in times of extended crisis. Thank you for being with us. The floor is yours. Thank you to Melissa. Thank you all of you for creating this possibility to stay together, co-regulating. So thank you, you from France, you Isadora, Kate, um, and from Easy, uh, Diana Dugaro, Slata, all the group of interpreters. Thank you a lot for make my voice your voice connecting us, all the group, regardless culture or, or language. Thank you for the for the people that English is your natural language for understand and for patience with my pronunciation and probably grammar mistakes. So let's let's propone the difficulties and stay with what is possible. So um, as Melissa said, let's keep our camera on for a while. And I would like to know in this huge and amazing group who is in European continent now. Maybe you could raise your hand and we could do an, a little exercise. So try to, to see he's in the same continent that you are. You can pass some pages and see if you recognize someone. Take a look and see if you know somebody. Oh, I see people that I know, many of them. And observe, what do you notice in your system? What do you notice in your body? How, how the faces that you recognize affect you? Yeah, I see some smiles. Maybe we can lower our hands. Yeah, and now people that is in Asia continent now can um, raise the hand. Only who is in Asia continent. Can you uh, raise your hand if you are in Asia continent? And take a look, pass the pages. Pass the page. Maybe you don't find many people, that's okay. We will notice in the end of this exercise that we have something in common. Oh, two people in Asia. So we can lower our hands again. And maybe who is in Americas, even though North America, Central America or South America, who is in the Americas, so you can raise your hand. For casuality now, I am in South America now. <laughs> yeah, and paste the pages. You can find people that you know, like I did now, and observe what do you notice in your system when you find some people that or you know or they are in the same place that you only that they have affinities with you and now we can lower our hands and maybe who is in oceania right now there is people in oceania Only Clade is in Oceania. Uh, okay. Are you pass the pages to see who is Oceania now? Nice. 
Okay. Or oh, no, nobody in Oceania, I think. So who is in Africa? There is people from Africa, people that is in Africa now. I will take a look to see. Oh, probably not. Okay, we can load our hands. I have a question, very important question now. Who is in the Earth planet right now? Please raise your hand if you are in the planet Earth. Are you sure? Are you sure you are in the blue planet right now? So take a look in the pages and see that for any reason, we are connected. We are in the same place. All of us came from the same planet. We, we are a very big family that we call humanity. And observe what do you feel when you see that there is something in common with everybody in this Zoom room. Maybe we can lower our hands again. And if you want, you can stay with your cameras on. If you prefer, you can put your camera off. It's up to you. And I would like to offer you something, some reflections about the extended crisis that we as humanity, we are suffering. Um, but I also wanted to ask you something. My demand is for you. I would like that you promise me that doesn't matter what I say, doesn't matter what we do together, any exercise, any word that maybe is contrary your beliefs, don't allow that this affects you badly. So I want that you promise me that you will get out this meeting equal or better than you arrived here. Can you promise me? And when I ask this for you, thank you, Ruxander. <laughs> when I ask this for you, it's because sometimes with our best intention, we offer something for others that for us is a gift. But because our beliefs, because our um, fixations in mind, sometimes we started to struggle in our mind. We started to find with the words, it's only words. What I will share with you will be only words. So if you don't agree, if you don't believe, if you don't like these words, so delete it and be fine. And take care of your well being because nobody in the world. Nobody in the whole world can take care of you as yourself. And the reason we decided together, me, Melissa, and Liana, do this webinar is because we together as humanity family, we really are living um, extended crisis and many of us so for the from uh, tar, empathic tiredness, it's not compassion tiredness, but empathic tiredness. So many of us 
started to help people since the pandemic. Yeah, empathic tiredness. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, since the pandemic, we started to give support for each other. But in some point, we were tired of suffering because when we really are empathic with others, the same, the same circuits, the same places in our brain that are responsible for suffering, inner suffering, is activated when we suffer with others through the empathy. So we could jump from the empathy to compassion. And through the compassion, we can come back to give support for others without suffering, without bitterity, without lose our center. But compassion is only possible when we are not activated, when we are not in trauma mode. So in this webinar, I would like to invite you ever since invitation, please. I would like to invite you to do some exercise that is useful for self-regulation and also some exercises for core regulation. But if any of these exercises is not good for you, don't do it. Don't do it, please. Stop immediately. Why I say this? Because my glass is wonderful for me. But if I ask Sandra, Florentina, Claudia, um, any, any one of you, maybe Zebra, I don't know how to say the names, Angelica, if I ask one of them to use my glass, they will say, oh, it's terrible. It's not useful. Okay, it's useful for me. If it's not for you, don't complain because sometimes we stay stuck in the complain mode this is trauma we started to complain to complain to complain to say what we don't like what's not good for us what we don't agree and we are not able to be free of this and all we have is possibility to make choices. And I can say, okay, I want to do this exercise. It's good for me. Bring it for your house, for your daily life. It's not good, so delete it. Don't do it, but don't complain. Don't allow anybody needing me do something that is not good for you. Put limits. It is necessary for the relation between give and receive. So I will share some PowerPoint with you because nothing is better than images to remind us what we saw, what we learned. Okay. So we already did the dynamic and then we already explained why we are here. Difficult times for all of us. And I wanted to remind you that we have each other. So when we remember that I can give support for other people, and this is my nature, and you can give support for other people, and this is your nature, and we have each other, 
to give support, we can change. Can't you from the suffering alone to grow together? I would like to share with you that some research from psycho uh, neuroscience, psychophysiology field, some researches um, could prove that when we help people, we also help ourselves. David McClelland did the research with many people. Um, he, he was analyzed a little bit of saliva from the participants before and after a video with Madre Teresa de Calcutta helping people. So in this research, he could prove that after the video, many participants had the immunoglobulin A that is responsible for protecting our, our health from many, I don't know, um, respiratory problems like bronchitis and other things. Uh, like COVID also. <laughs> so the immunoglobulin A increased after the video, but the research was not only analyzing saliva. This is a biological program to increase when we have some feelings. So they also did some questions for the participants and the participant could say that I felt love, I felt compassion, I felt desire to help other people. So many research now prove that when we give support for others with compassion, with love, in the place that is not fusion, is more than empathy. So not only the person that receives from you support is better after the support, but also you, so also us. So the network created the us to feel that we are together, to feel that we can give support for each other. We are mammals. Connection is our network. As Stephen Porges said, connection is our first survival response. So uh, I wanted to remind people that this from SE field, somatic experience field, that we have the possibility to pendulate Oh, sorry. So the traumatic vortex is a metaphor that talks about pain, lack of resources, sadness, constriction, um, lost, and the counter vortex is another metaphor that it talks about resource, love, give and receive, exchanging, uh, happiness, hopeness, opposite feelings, expansion. So the problem in our life and Remember, this is only idea. If you don't like, if you don't agree, delete it. But I really think that the problem in our life is because we forget that we have the strength to change our feelings, 
our minds, our behaviors, because we have the contra vortex. The traumatic vortex is very seductor, and sometimes we are stuck there, only complain, 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 and observe what we don't have, the lack, uh, what is missing. And it's understandable because trauma is also part of our life. And I want to invite you to remember that we also have the contra vortex. We can observe what we receive, what we still have, what we still are, and what we can do. So, I already did the contract with you, with the group. And the contract is, it doesn't matter what I say, what we, what we do. If you don't like it, don't stay struggling in your mind because some words or some purposes that is against your beliefs. Delete it and go ahead. Our agreement is that you have to get out of this meeting the same or better than you arrived here. Do you? <laughs> and why I am talking to you about this contract? Because Alfred Kozibski, an author that wrote the book Science and Sanity, he said that we don't have the reality. We only have maps of realities. And the maps is not the territory. What happened is that sometimes we stay struggling in our mind because someone think different from us. Because someone didn't uh, see the world, see the life as I see. And it's okay. It's only another way to see the things. I can listen. I can observe. Maybe I can learn from other people if I'm not struggling, trying to convince the other with my own ideas. So during the pandemic, we listen a lot, many webinars and lectures about the autonomic responses, uh, flight and uh, fight and flight. We listen a lot about orientation, and this means the defense active response, and this he presents the exploratory response. My invitation here for you is let's explore. Let's explore more and let's put our autonomic response from flight or fight in a site. <laughs> and also, Let's understand other perspective yeah. about the freeze response, the dissociation response, the immobility response, and also about the connection response. The connection response is our freeze survival response. As I told you before, the baby, the human baby, come for this world, for our Earth planet, with a biological program to connect, to invite the adults, the other mammals from, from our group, to take care, 
So the babies come with beautiful um, skin. They come with sounds, sounds and vulnerability. And because the vulnerability that the babies has, they stimulate our affiliation um, feeling. And all of us has the affiliation as a um, biological program also. Okay, if I'm not sick, I'm not talking about sociopathy or other difficult issues. I'm talking about us, quite, quite normal people. <laughs> So I wanted to remember that this is the most important thing. And when we see um, the big victory, when we remember that all of us, we are human beings, all of us, we have the same desires, the same wishes of us. We want health, we want love, we want be recognized, we want peace, all of us. When do we remember this, that this is our network, so we can see beyond, we can see the big picture. And I wanted to remind you that sometimes the dissociation that is one response, natural response, can have different levels. So fight and flight is wonderful, it's necessary. We need it for our survival. We are animals. But how we do it, how, is, how we do it is something that we can differentiate from other animals because we have another part that is the prefrontal cortex. If we develop this prefrontal cortex, we can modulate more our instinct and we can orient ourselves for more exploratory and for more connection. But as I said, there is different levels of dissociation. And I want to share with you that sometimes we really need it. We really need dissociate. Sometimes we dissociate without any awareness. It's, uh, it's involuntary. And sometimes we can choose to associate a little bit. As I can use my volunteer effort to fight or my volunteer effort to flee sometimes, or I can train my orientation to explore or to defend, I also can sometimes be more compassionate with myself. And in order to take care of myself, maybe I needed to dissociate. And I can share something very, very personal from me with you. There was a moment in pandemic time in 2020, we are in the confinement. And I was trying to help people, my students, my clients, my family, a little bit myself. And I was involved in volunteer works. I like it. I, I really know that it's good for others and also for ourselves. But there was one point that was too much for me. And I started to note that I was not so grounded as I needed it to be. I was not so oriented. And it doesn't matter the knowledge we have. That doesn't matter who we are. 
I can be, I could be Peter Levini, I could be, I don't know, <laughs> any, any Stephen Porges, but we are human beings. Before be therapist, before be a SE teacher, I am human being. And as human being, if I don't take care of myself, I can be in the traumatic mode and I can lose myself. And it was almost happened with me. And then I really, I listen one suggestion. And the suggestion was, why you don't watch Master Chef? A very common program for cooking. <laughs> and then I said, okay, I, I didn't use uh, to do to watch television a lot. And in my, in my beliefs, remember only my beliefs, I was thinking that it was losing time. So I always prefer reading or do other things. But in this moment, I said, okay, maybe I need it. And I started to watch MasterChef every day. And you cannot imagine it, how this was so important for me to self-regulate better my system. I was doing yoga. I was doing breathing techniques. I was doing therapy because if I am a therapist, I should do therapy as client as well. I cannot offer um, food that I don't eat, right? I don't know if you agree, but it's my point of view. So I was doing everything, but really what was great for me was dissociate <laughs> voluntarily. So I was watching MasterChef and I was having fun and watching people connecting, kissing, uh, give hugs because it was old recording, it was not uh, real. <laughs> and it was really a wonderful resource to help myself. So remember, sometimes it's too much. Pay attention in our suffering. Sometimes it's too much. Pay attention in other people's suffering. And it's not mean that I will avoid to take care of people. But I needed to take care of myself first. Otherwise, I cannot offer anything good for others. I only can feel compassion when I rest. I only can connect with people. If I am in the exploratory orientation response, if I am struggling in my mind, if I am in my own suffering, what I can do for others? Maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. Maybe. Everything is maybe. So this webinar has the uh, invitation to reflect about boundaries, about the limits. And when they say limits is something that we can pay attention every day. How is in my life the balance between give and receive? I give, but I also receive, and maybe I can receive it for myself. I don't have to complain, or I don't have to, to start to to fight and say, you don't give me, you don't give. Okay, I can give for myself also. If I give love for others, I can give love for me. Why not? Maybe some of you read, listen this sentence, and some of you cannot believe, some of you can doesn't like, and it's okay. But I hear the one sentence that is, love the others like you love yourself so what come before even though you don't agree even though you don't like the sentence doesn't matter observe that 
what comes be before? Love others like you love yourself. So it's the same that cook the carrot like you cook the, the potato. So what comes before? Cooking the potato. Cooking the potato is the reference. So I can cook the carrot like I cook the potato, right? Even though you don't believe, it's, it's okay. Only learn or put in the garbage in if you don't like this sentence. Mm -hmm. So for whom are from SE, we learned about Saiban. And Saiban is the elements of a normal experience. In trauma, these elements can be overcoupling or undercoupling. And this is another explanation. In the SE training, you can learn it. I only want to use this filter to remember that we can pay attention in ourselves using this map to see if I'm doing my best for myself every day because nobody can change your life. Nobody can change your behaviors. Nobody can change your affections, your emotions. If you are angry, you are angry. I can do things. Of course, I can do things, include against you, but you can be angry with me or not. You can be free from what I did and say, okay, what I want to do with this, what we, what she did against me. I know that it's complicated. When we think about the crisis or the war, it's create many bad feelings. But remember, filter this and use this if it's useful for you. If it's not, delete it and say, I don't agree with this woman. I don't like what she say. Okay, so close your ears for this and open years for other things that may be useful. So it's important that every day we can look in my sensations. I observe my sensations, my body. And maybe I can notice that I have more contraction pain, or I have more relief, well-being. If I am in the traumatic vortex, so I have more contraction and pain, what can I do for myself for a feel better? The same about images. For which images I am exposing my nervous system? What I am watching? I am watching the bad news every day, all the time to overwhelm my system? Or I also look some beautiful images like this one, like ocean, sea, nature, trees, um, children, um, faces that I know, people that I love, what I am doing with my nervous system. And when we say images, it's not only visual images, but also um, auditory images, what I listen. If what I listen is not good for me, okay, don't listen. Dissociate, really. Dissociate, don't listen. And listen what is good for you. Maybe some music, maybe some songs, maybe some natural sounds maybe some laughs or beautiful voices. What I'm doing, so behaviors, what I'm doing for myself. 
Am I stretching my body every day a little bit? Am I giving some self-touch, observing my skin? What is my need? What is my body need? Do I am taking care of myself in this sense? What is the affection that I nourish, that I put more attention to? I am giving more attention for the anger, for the sadness, or I am allowing myself to feel the angry, to feel the sadness. And also, I am remembering that I also have people that love me, people that I love, and people that I not love yet. But I can start to. Love is something that we can de develop. It's our natural, but we can develop. If we do things as I love people. So I started to develop love. And when I develop love, this is good for others, but it's also good for me. And what is my beliefs? What is the meaning that I give for the facts in my life or in the world life? How I see the things? Of course, when we're in the trauma mode, we only see things very badly. We only see things as very negative. We cannot see what we will achieve after that because we are stuck in the suffering. My dears, the pandemic time was not easy. It's not easy for me also. But because of the pandemic time, now we are here together. We are in the Zoom meeting with more than 1,050 people from different places. And talking and listening with quality as we are together. This technology already existed before the pandemic, but the pandemic increased our effort to improve and improve technology and included to be open for this. Because I can confess that I said, no, it's not possible to teach SE through any Google Meet or Skype, in that time it was Skype, it's not possible to do SE sessions through, uh, through internet. And now everything's possible. So let's see the future. Let's see the future. After all, something will be good. I don't know what. As you know, uh, I am sharing my own experience here. It's only one invitation or reflect about what we are doing with ourselves, how we can care ourselves and how we can care others. But I want to share with you something that I learned from my yoga class, three S's. So if you have another religion, if you are from another place and you have some preconcept about yoga, please put it in the side and be open to listen and learn from any Q3, any approach, any knowledge. So the three S's is, first of all, is self-care. So the four is S. The way of self-care is doing sadhana. Sadhana means care. Everything can be sadhana. Take a shower with time. Smelling the shampoo, the soap. Sadhana can be stretched. Do some exercises. Do qigong. Do anything that you like. Do your practices. Things every day to take care of yourself. But if you only do sadhana, it will not be imbalancing. So it's important to do seva. In seva, 
is volunteer work for others without expect, expected anything in change, in exchanging. Again, there is many, many resources that show us that depression goes down when we started to give support for others, but not focusing the suffering, not only with the empathy, but with compassion. So observe the love that we have, the love that we develop when we give, when when we do something for others. And this is our network, our biological program. But if I only do my sadhana and also seva, maybe it's not enough. I needed the three, three points. And the, the other one is satsang. Satsang is connection. Can be connection with other people can be connection with my masters, can be connection with the knowledge. So it's connection. So if I only make seva, so I am in the service, service, volunteer service, and I don't take care of myself, I will be bad. If I only take care of myself and I don't take care of others, I will be bad. So it's necessary three points, connection with others, with knowledge, with masters, with people, with the life, but also taking care of myself and taking care of others. This is a very important things. Maybe some of you that are not from SC field, maybe you want to ask me, Liane, what to do? How to do something to take care of myself? How to do to self-regulate myself? So Peter Lavini and other amazing colleagues from SC Fields, other teachers, they spread many lectures and recorded many videos during the pandemic to help people and sharing many resources. So I will remind for whom already know these resources. I will remind these resources and for whom this is new, I will invite you to do, right? And remember, this is an invitation. If you start to do, paying attention in yourself, and you feel that this is not good for you, please stop it and don't do. And don't complain. Only don't do and do something different. So the first exercise that Peter spread, Peter Levini is our master, he spread in pandemic time was the Vu sound. So I will invite you to to observe yourself, how do you feel? First of all, when you listen, don't do it yet, only listen. So when you listen the sound, V and U together in the exhalation, observe what do you notice. Oh. Only observe what you want. If you start to feel things in your body like trembling, discharge, Anything strange, it's normal. You are alive. And when we are alive, we feel things. So now I will invite you 
to do with me if it was good for you. If it's not good, stop the sound. Don't listen, right? I will do three times. So in the second time, we will do together. In the third time, we will do together also. So maybe you can do the sound with me and observe if this is good for you or not. If it's not, don't do. If it is, please, let's go together. So, inhalation and exhalation with the sound. And observe your system, observe yourself. If it was good for you, we can have the thrift experience. If it was not good, don't do it. Inhalation. Breathe in and breathe out with the sound. And rest. In case you felt this that this is a useful resource for regulate your system please create the commitment to do for you every day even one time before sleep or when you are more ancient with more ancient in your day and I will invite you to do another exercise, very simple. I am only reviewing because Peter Red spread this exercise in many lectures. So we put our right hand below our axilla and our left hand close our elbow and then rest in the self hug. Rest in the self hug. Remember that you have yourself to give support for you if you are aware that you can. You can, you should, you worth. Maybe you can note your reading. You can notice your heart beating. Maybe you can notice some vibration. Everything is welcome. You are alive. You are alive. You are alive. And maybe doing your self-hug, you could do a grounding exercise. For whom doesn't know what is this, you can contract your toes. You can contract your toes. You can press a little bit your legs against the floor. And then relax. And maybe you can observe how are you now? If you have more presence or not. Maybe you can open your eyes. And maybe you can orient yourself in something that is around you and that you like. Some belong. 
some object, some picture. Maybe you can see the sky through the window. I don't know. Maybe you can see the tree, the garden. I don't know. Or maybe you cannot see anything. Sometimes there is people that cannot see with the eyes. So what can you listen? What can you listen and is good? Maybe you can listen the birds, the children's voice, with their innocence voice. And remember to protect the, the sensory canals. Even for your nervous system opportunity to receive good smells, good sounds, good images, like images from nature. We still have some nature around us. If you are far, far from the nature, fortunately, we can have a flower or maybe we can look a picture from one trip that we had in the past. So now I want to show you another very different PowerPoint with a question, who or what are we? So regarding Wine Dyer, author for some books and uh, Believe and See, one of the, the books of Weiner Dyer. He said that we are this. And maybe some of you can be curious asking, what is this? I'm not this. I am a human being. I'm a person. I'm a professional. I'm a psychologist. No, not, not, not. You are not. You are not, or you are also these holes, our only holes. Regarding Wine Dyer, we are this. And this is one picture from European Molecular Biology Laboratory uh, that show that it's a cell. So regarding Wine Dyer, we are cells. Cells, Liani, I'm not an amount of cells. I mean, more than this. Okay. His idea is that we are cells from a body, a big body called the humanity. And unfortunately, sometimes in our body, some cells can make mistakes. They can reproduce itself, create it what we call cancer and this these cells destroy destroy the tissue where it was part of and also the organ and also the system and also the whole body and also itself without any awareness but there is cells other cells in our body that communicate, that give, nutrients, do other things. And then we, me, you, Melissa, Isadora, Liana, uh, Ruxandra, Anna, we can make a conscious choice what kind of cell I want to be. I want to be a cell that nutri other cells. I want to be a cell that exchange with other cells. I want to be a cell that do my best to create more health in the big body called the humanity. So remember that when I take care of me. When I take care of me, 
I am taking care also of we. If you pay attention, it's quite similar. Me and we. So, I did a contract with you in the beginning. I did a contract that if it was not useful for you, delete it. If it was good, okay, take it for you. But we it's different from my map. It's only a map. I offer only my time, my voice, my intention to give support for you and to receive support because I really received a lot of support from all of this group. And remember, it's not my fault if something is wrong here. It's Google Translate. <laughs> so I did my best put in many languages my gratitude for you, for you stay here. And we have more 15 minutes. I would like to share a video, but I, I will do it only if we have time. Melissa, if there is questions, I can answer questions. If there is no questions, so I will show a little movie. There are no questions in the chat box. Maybe we can pause to see if one comes. And I don't see anyone raising a hand to share a question. So maybe a video would be a nice way to close. Yeah, okay, thank you. So again, if you don't, if you think, oh, I don't believe in Christmas, this is only this is only a um, business oh i don't like this idea because my put it in the side and see the what people can do when they want to be inclusive what they can do when they really want to to support others. Um, we can play with the words crisis, the prefix is, is cree, and creativity is also cree. So we can create opportunities in space to socialize, to include, to support, when we really have compassion. So I will show you a very simple video. Uh, it's for kids and I love things for kids because it reminds us our inner kids, inner, oh, it's not this one, sorry. And I have another, exercise to do if we have time. Okay, now, the last exercise, if we have time, if there is no questions. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, Remember that for some of us, because we, we are in different cultures, for some of us, it's Christmas time. And even though some of us believe that Christmas is only business, other people doesn't believe in this, or we can use these times to connect, to remember something that is our nature, that is connection, family, so this life is Can you hear, Melissa? So this life is given Everyone a present Beautiful, shiny and new Everyone but you Golden ribbons, diamonds Line everyone's path That leads to white open doors Everyone's but yours. 
So we can believe in love. And as we still have 10 minutes, as there is no questions, could we do more one exercise together? It's okay, Leah, Melissa? Yeah, we just need the last five minutes for announcements. Okay. So this is only five minutes and more five minutes for announcement and to close. Thank you, Melissa. So uh, I would ask you to do the grounding. So I would invite, it's invitation. Put your feet in the floor, grab the floor, feel your muscles, feel your spine core. And maybe you can close your eyes with your face up a little bit, not down. Up. And I know that is not easy, but maybe in this moment, you can imagine it. It's only one imagination. Don't judge the imagination. Only imagine that from you, from your heart, you can spread a light. And this light represents your love. I know you love people. And I know that there is people that love you. Doesn't matter our mood, our character, our difficulties. There is people that like us. And we also love some people. So imagine it that from your heart, you are spreading love. Maybe you can imagine it from your heart. This love can be a color, and this color can start to breathe and it started to involve the people that is in your house, maybe your pet your plant, your flower. Maybe you can imagine it that your light or your vibration, your love vibration can increase and start to evolve all the big where you are, all the square where are you. And maybe this light can increase and involve all the sea. Where are you? In the incredibly, this can grow and involve the sea. Where are you? And your imagination can be very creative. And you can imagine your counter or the place that you are. In your light. You can see from up that your light is mixing with other people in your light. And then we get many colors around our air planet. We can really wish peace 
we really can reach the dog or the whole humanity. If you can imagine it in the future, we live in another life with a good sense, with understanding, with compassion, with love, with exchanging, fair exchanges. And maybe you can speak this image. Oh, planet in a big color, light, and vibration. The color of love and peace. Take your time feeling what you are feeling now, being aware about what you are feeling. And maybe you can open slow your eyes and reconnect with people that are in this meeting. I wanted to remind you what Melissa said in the beginning. For do this webinar, it was a big effort for many, many hands. And if you think you received something, one idea that was good, one feeling that was good, one inspiration, anything, so if you really think that you received it, so give, give something. You can give a small donation, $1, $5, $10, as your pocket are able to, or as your heart are able to. We never, never have to give if our heart says no. But if I received it, and I think this is important that Others, oh, webinars like that can happen and can be useful for some of us, maybe only for some of us. So you can give, not because we are asking, but because you want, because your heart say it's a way to be connected and to put my seed as a nutrition cells that I am. So Melissa, sorry. I. I passed a little bit. <laughs> Two minutes you have. That's beautiful. Thank you, Liane. And yes, if you can give Rebecca, just put the link in the chat. We have money to do one more webinar and then we're finished unless we raise more funds. We would really appreciate if anyone can give. And a second way that you can give is by helping us um, with feedback from a survey that helps us um, lead a really beautiful webinar. It also gives us the information we need to ask donors for money and to make grant applications. So please take a moment to complete the feedback. To each person, in the room today, we are so grateful to have shared this space with you. Thank you for being here. We have many friends with us today from Ukraine, from the countries surrounding Ukraine. And I just want to acknowledge you today and to let you know that our hearts are with you. We hope everybody leaves today feeling a little better resourced. These are difficult times, but we have each other. We have the tools that somatic experiencing gives us. I pray that you do not feel alone. 
every Tuesday, our team meets for Resilience Connection. You can find it on our website, the link. We invite you to join us every Tuesday to just be together, to do exercises like what Liana showed us today, to share. But one of my takeaways today is that in times of extended crisis, we need to reach out to each other. You are not alone. Thank you for being here today. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Spread to you. I didn't know, Melissa. I didn't know that every Tuesday you are meeting with people. So I want to be part of it. Please come. Each week we alternate between English and then Spanish the next week. Um, right. Sata, maybe you can put the link to the uh, Resilience Connection in the chat for us. Thank you so much for being here to each of you. Our team is always here. You also can email us anytime. And maybe Zlata can put our email address too at seukrainetaskforce at traumahealing.org. We love hearing from you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your service in your communities. I hope to see you February 15th for our next gathering when we will do a big conversation and share stories about the past year and working together on this crisis response. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Thank you Liana Dugaro, for the invitation. Thank you all of you for your support. And thank you for the translation, for being my voice, and for your patience with my pronunciation and, and limited English. Thank you a lot. <laughs>